Hello all, welcome back to the course Basic Signal Processing. I am Dr. Ravi Chandra Kulkarni. Uh, let us start from the point where we stopped in the last video, that is matrix multiplication. Two matrices may be multiplied together only if they meet conditions on their dimensions that allow them to conform. Let A have dimensions M cross N and B B N cross P. That is, A has the same number of columns as the number of rows in B. Then the product C is equal to AB is defined and it will have a dimension M cross P. That is the number of rows in the first and the number of columns in the second matrix. right? And the elements of matrix C, that is the product matrix C, is defined individually by this formula cij is equal to summation of k is equal to 1 n 1 to n a i k b k j right and the element in position ij is the sum of products of the element in the ith row of the first matrix and the corresponding elements in the jth column of the second matrix b though this sounds a bit complex when we do it with an example, it is much more fun and easy to understand. This formula is easy to understand. This is uh, help agate, uh, adana program allu apply maadbohudu, application development allu apply maadbohudu, filtering allu apply maadbohudu, other applications thumb aide. But, yaudukku, correct agi thil kondre, ondalla ondkade adu upyoga bilate. So, let us go for an example and then come back and revisit what are the different properties of matrix multiplication. So, quick agi eradu matrix togorana, A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, simplest of the matrix and you need to write the dimension of this. This has 2 rows and 3 columns. So the dimension of this is 2 cross 3 and let me consider B to be equal to 1, 2, 1, 2 and 1, 2. Just a simple matrix and its dimension is 3 cross 2. Let us check if the dimension conform uh, to the rules which allow for matrix multiplication that is the number of columns in the first matrix a that is m cross n and n illi kuda n n 3 3 so both are equal that is the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to number of rows in the second matrix so uh, this conform to the rules and hence can be multiplied or the product exists or is defined and uh, sorry, this is uh, n cross p and the resultant matrix should be of or will be of the dimension m cross p. So, let us have a look at it, right? So, now uh, as per the formula which we saw in the previous slide, c11 is the summation of product of each element of row 1 of matrix A and column 1 of matrix B that is the corresponding elements are multiplied 1 times 1 plus and summed together that is how the summation comes into picture 2 times 1 that is second element of row 1 and second element of column 1 of B and again summation 3 times 1 so 3 times 1 right so now what is it equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 it is equal to 6 uh, yeah and now let us go with c12 that is first row of a and second column of b so let me tick these products now 1 times 2 1 times 2 summation again 2 times 2, sorry, 2 
2 times 2 right and 3 times 2 plus 3 times 2 so that is 2 plus 4 plus 6 that makes it 12 right so you can see that uh, just as a keen observation the column 2 of matrix B is twice that of column 1 each multiplied with 2 each element multiplied with 2 hence we see that the product is also multiplied 6 and 12 so in a way it is correct what we can cross check now with respect to C21 which makes it call a uh, row 2 of matrix A and column 1 of matrix B that is 4 times 1 plus 5 times 1 plus 6 times 1 so that is 4 plus 5 plus 6 9 plus 6 that is 15 so C22 going in the same lines so we have 4 times 2 plus 5 times 2 plus 6 times 2 any guesses what would be the answer right it should be double of this as evident as it is from the first two calculations 8 plus 10 plus 12 so 20 plus 10 30. there you go so 15 and 30 right so now if I have to write C as product of a B and picking each element from the product and sum what we got here that would make it 6 12 15 and 30 so this is a 2 cross 2 matrix that is M cross P from here right and 6 12 15 30 would be its elements right now uh, I would like uh, the viewers to check on if C is equal to B A is possible right uh, I would leave the uh, actual calculation to the viewers but let me do some dimension analysis on this like we do for physics if the left hand side and right hand side uh, of an equation dimension is uh, not conforming then we say that the equation is not right so similarly we can do a simple uh, check uh, here so B is uh, 3 cross 2 dimension and A is 2 cross 3 um, now as per the rule of conformity uh, the number of columns of matrix first matrix that is matrix B in this case should be equal to number of rows in the second matrix which is A here so here it is equal hence the product exists or is defined and the resultant dimension of the product is M cross P here that is 3 cross 3 that is the new product C dash if I define it as C dash C dash dimension is uh, 3 cross 3 matrix right so uh, this is the multiplication is possible matrix multiplication for B A as well but if you see uh, C dash has a dimension of 3 cross 3 and C has a dimension of 2 cross 2 so straight away we can say that A B is not equal to B A so we have in a way from the uh, rules of ma matrix multiplication derived uh, that AB is not equal to BA that is matrix multiplication is not associative that is the first property what I have here on the slide uh, sorry uh, is associative uh, apologies uh, matrix multiplication is not commutative in nature right AB is not equal to B uh, which was evident from our uh, calculation of dimensions or uh, cross verification based on dimensions that 2 cross 2 3 cross 3 right so AB is not equal to BA in case of matrix whereas two in algebra 2 cross 3 is equal to 3 cross 2 don't get confused so in this matrix multiplication you generally don't get this right uh, and also C is equal to AB A is said to pre multiply B where while B is said to 
post multiply a so this is a bit of lingo used uh, with respect to matrices one needs to be aware of it in case you do any uh, high end uh, matrix uh, application or uh, calculations right and also it is interesting to note that a b is equal to 0 does not imply that either a is equal to 0 or that b is equal to 0 right so this is with respect to matrix multiplication again i would request the viewers to do this uh, calculation of b times a so you, you can note down b and a matrices as shown in uh, the slide here and do it on a paper and cross check it uh, let me know if you find it difficult uh, i would be happy to assist you further uh, personally uh, my email id is there in the uh, description you can anytime email to me and uh, um, have an interaction on that uh, thank you uh, we will go ahead with the other parts of uh, matrix uh, and its application in the 